Good morning, everybody. It is so exciting to be back. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, the gatehouse. Okay. Wow. Can we go in there? Just look at there's a sign. Beware of guard dogs. No, it's a gate up there. It's gated. No, it looks like it's private. Yeah. Where are we going? This is the uneven part, or I thought it's a good idea to stop and put my foot down. Obviously it wasn't. Everybody, it is so exciting to be back, and it's really, really hard <laughs> to say this enthusiastic opening when you do it for the fourth time. It is six and a half, oh, six and a half degrees, and we are out on the bike literally daily since Monday the last three days as you know it's not the very very first time for me back on the bike I started off slowly I probably could have pushed out some content but my 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 hurt my pain my recovery from from an accident was my own it wasn't there to share so the first trip was about 20 minutes main road fill the bikes and go back the next time we went out was a bit longer it was then down to the beach bar pretty much straight roads the drive out there was about 30 minutes 35 minutes and then back so yeah the next drive was then the next town the more further town it was Strand Hill. We we weren't the only one with that idea because there had been a lot of bikers on in Strand Hill. The next ride was then a more scenic ride which was Loch Con in our <clears throat> Loch Con in our area and you 
would have seen if you follow us on Instagram you would have seen a picture of that already because we have been at the Titanic Memorial beautiful place uh, sad place to go but beautiful that the memorial is there um, and that is that was actually the first ride we recorded and no no our audio wasn't having it so then we said okay we have another ride and the weather is supposed to be really nice really nice like what we have now overcast no rain no rain is really nice for us lovely spin to a little old castle which is part of a farmland it's called deal castle all that i fell off the bike that was it for me then that day i i left the house with with with, with big smiles getting out properly and i came home totally devastated and frustrated so the last two days we are now out training we are on the way to go to our training area again <laughs> we are here and it's just it is so cold absolutely baltic so church ground amazing parking spot to train with a view over to Sleeve Lake which are islands second highest sea cliffs today we are counting daffodils <laughs> we're counting them yeah how many did you count yet <laughs> come on i think we we're up to 10 anyway sign of spring that's for sure isn't it today is the 2nd of March and um, the last few days the weather has been absolutely gorgeous for this time of the year no rain and that is something would you look at that even on an overcast uh, day like today it's so beautiful I mean, seriously. It's right on our doorstep, and we never get tired looking at it. This is the uh, this is the estuary here with the River Moy, where it goes out into the uh, Atlantic. This is Kalala Bay, off to our right, and that land mass right there in the front of us is um, is actually an island. It's called Barter Island, and at low tide. Not, well, it's getting pretty low now as you can see there's sandbars there but at low tide you can actually access it from from the other side over the sand so you see a lot of people walking over there you see people with their dirt bikes going over there and yeah you good yeah all good oh man my three finger system is not working with those gloves because the last two fingers are stitched together Oh, really? Deliberately? Yeah, deliberately, so that you don't lose your little pinky when you have an accident. Because that what you be nice. what you bend when you fall is your, your your little pinky is the most vulnerable one, and the last two fingers are stitched together on the on well the gloves fingers. Um, so yeah, to prevent. So you, on your clutch, you usually use three fingers, yeah. Yeah. I never used three, never know why. And now I have to use two. The last couple of days we had been out, the wind was creeping up into my jacket because the gloves I had prior didn't have a long cuff. So, yes, these are nicer. And now I have to break them in. And they're really cool. I really like them. So what we are doing today is, is nothing big actually, we're just going to have a spin along the coast to the next town, that's the main plan. Uh, and just again to test the audio settings, they were brilliant yesterday after our little spin. Um, so we take another opportunity to test if everything is working. It's really important that we get these little trips in with no particular goal in mind just to test our equipment 
get comfortable after the bikes again. But when we do decide to uh, to get out on the roads and, uh, and do a, a, a bigger tour, we want to make sure that we know uh, that everything's working right. What we could do is we could show everybody our hidden gym of a castle in the woods. Oh, shall we have a spin up there? Shall we go to the gate? Shall we go through the gatehouse? We do that. And then show them the castle. We show you a castle. We do that. We show you a castle. Stay tuned. We show you the Anybody castle. Anybody want to see a castle? Let's go have a look at the castle. Huh? Yeah. That is the gatehouse. I thought it must have been a huge estate back in the day because if that was the gatehouse, I'd consider how far it is to go up to the castle. Now. This is the entrance to the league. It's lovely, isn't it? Stunning. It is. So it's a uh, functioning hotel. There's receptions here for small parties and yeah, weddings. Yeah, small weddings. So a lot of people come here for the photographs, but uh, we always come here for a cup of coffee as well. We've got Jack Finn's. Yeah, there's a little cafe. There's a lovely outside area. It's not always open, but uh, if, it, if the doors are open and there's nothing on, uh, you can always uh, take a, a wander and have a quick look around. There's a, a downstairs um, or, dining room and bar. The bar, yes, I know all about the bar. Yeah. How yeah, can well, we yeah. forget her? <laughs> <coughs> Don't talk about that now. <laughs> and you can actually stay here overnight. Yes, you can. So if you're ever here in the area and traveling, that's something you might want to do. I don't know anything about this as a history. I know it's in private, privately owned. We have to look that up. We will leave it in the video, the information about that castle. Now, let's get coffee.